Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to another one of my videos. Um, today I'm going to be explaining how to overclock an AMD Black Edition processor and um, some of the advantages to having an unlocked multiplier um, that comes with these overclocking monsters. So basically before we begin you're going to want a program here. It's called uh, CPU-Z. It basically gives you all the information about your CPU. So there are a couple of things you need to take note of before we start. First thing is your core voltage. That's really, really important. Your core speed, your multiplier, um, your bus speed or your reference clock or whatever. It's 200 megahertz, I'll tell you that right now, on these AM3 boards. Uh, your hypertransport link speed, um, your Northbridge frequency, and your DRAM frequency. So you just want to maybe write down some of that information so you don't forget because you'll need this stuff once you go into the BIOS. And then uh, also download some stress test programs. My favorite one is called OCCT. Um, and uh, there's another one, a really good one called Prime95. These ones basically, these type of programs basically run your system at 100% because when you get into overclocking and making your computer faster basically for free, um, you'll get something called instability, which happens because your computer isn't built to go this fast, right? So you're going to want a program called like uh, a stress tester so that uh, you can make sure everything's stable. So when you're doing a homework or just uh, doing something on your own time, that your computer doesn't crash and you lose files that you'll need. So um, basically I'll get into the BIOS and um, start showing you how everything works. Okay, so um, now I'm in my BIOS, and go to the tab in your BIOS that enables overclocking. For me, it's AI Tweaker. So basically, this is what a typical BIOS would look like, I would think. Um, and this is what I'm talking about. This reference clock, or here it says front side bus frequency. I don't actually know the name. It's like there's a million names. Ask this guy called uh, El Gapo on overclock.net. He'll know it for sure, like, I don't even know, he just rhymes his stuff off. So basically, um, this reference clock um, is linked to everything in your system. So through a series of multipliers and dividers and stuff, um, it controls basically everything. You have your DRAM frequency, that's what I said is important. So it's like the speed of your RAM, right? And this one is DDR2, and you probably recognize these three speeds as in what you get. So um, with normal edition processors, uh, you have a locked multiplier. So you'd have to be upping that, which messes everything up, right? You have totally different speeds. But you have a black edition processor if you're watching this video. So uh, here are some of the advantages. So when you're overclocking a black edition processor, you don't need to touch this uh, reference clock, right? So you don't need to worry too, too much about the RAM frequency and um, Northbridge frequency and hypertransport link frequencies for preliminary overclocking because um, you're only touching your multiplier, so you're only uh, overclocking your CPU. Now, right now, you can see it goes 200 times 14 to give me my CPU frequency, which is basically stock 2.8 gigahertz. Now you can up this multiplier just by pressing out, like all AMD processors have unlocked multipliers in the downward direction, but only black edition processors have it in the up direction too, see? So let's set it up 14.5, which would give us 14.5 times 200 as our CPU clock. So let me just uh, reboot and see what that did. Okay, so I just rebooted with upping my multiplier, my CPU multiplier, to 14.5 times 200, and let's see if that actually made a difference. Yeah, so now instead of running at the stock speed of 2.8, it's running at 2.9 GHz. And basically every time you do an up like that, I want you to go into Windows and uh, run one of those stress test programs I was telling you about, OCCT or Prime95, maybe for about an hour. Um, just so you know that it's that it's stable and then you can move on ahead because you're not tr doing your final testing to make sure it's hundred percent stable you just want to know if it's stable enough right so um, 
basically you can up this again just keep upping your multiplier by 0.5 to get like the like the course overclocking I call it just so you get a ballpark of where you're supposed to be at and then uh, I'll just reboot again okay I rebooted and I set the multiplier at 15 so now it, yeah it's running at 3 gigahertz so basically just with a black edition processor just keep upping your multiplier until you get to a limit on your CPU and start crashing and then you're gonna want to start upping your CPU voltage to stabilize it out and once you get to the maximum safe voltage I believe on the Phenom 2's it's 1.55 but don't quote me um, once you get to that voltage in the BIOS and your, your maximum multiplier and you just still like you can't go any higher in, until you keep crashing when you're running those stress tests what you're gonna wanna do I think is um, lower your multiplier so let's say back to 14.5 but realistically it would, for my processor it would be like lower it down to 17 or something um, then you use your front side bus frequency or your reference clock or whatever it's called for fine tuning so maybe set it to like 202 or 204 because that is connected to everything else your RAM frequency, your north bridge frequency and your hypertransport link frequency now don't worry too much about overclocking your hypertransport link frequency once you get above basically 2 gigahertz um, it actually starts to slow down your performance and because it, the width of your hypertransport is so wide it rarely gets saturated with information so overclocking it basically won't speed up your computer at all that's what I'm saying now um, upping your RAM frequency well I haven't like maybe for other people it will but I found just doing day-to-day -day stuff between 800 and 1066 it wasn't that big of a difference because um, I have uh, like I'll do a RAM timing another video but with your RAM timings overclocked uh, your bandwidth isn't that too big of an issue unless you're into games and stuff now something that will definitely help your um, in your performance of your computer along with your CPU is your Northbridge frequency for me it's labeled under CPU Northbridge frequency but even just upping that up to like two like 200 megahertz faster did a huge boost in performance for me so other than CPU overclocking, try to overclock your north bridge as, fa as fast as possible. But it's the same concept, right? You can't go too fast. Um, like, you have to go in small steps, like with your multiplier. And then you'd have to start upping the voltage on your north bridge. So basically, that's what you need to do. That's basically the technique of overclocking a black edition processor. Use your multiplier to get your course overclocking, to get a general area of what your CPU can do. Then lower it a bit, like one notch, and then use your uh, reference clock for fine tuning. And then start looking at overclocking your north bridge frequency and possibly your RAM frequency. Don't worry too much about your hypertransport link. And then you're pretty well golden. And then uh, basically you just need to start testing and make sure it's stable and then you have yourself an overclocked system.